Praise be to God. We give God praise. Father God, we thank you for this is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We honor the King. We thank God for another day, a day of peace, a day of victory. Hallelujah. A day that we are trusting that God is doing a great thing now. There are so many people that uh, don't understand what's happening today. They, they're not with the Christmas uh, thing. And praise be to God, rightfully so, because it's bigger than Christmas. And so many people are hurting and so many people are struggling and so many people are challenged. Hallelujah. Just the fact is of it being a Christmas, uh, they, they, they don't have any way to go. They didn't get any presents. They broke up with their relationships. All kinds of things happen that we don't even talk about during the holiday. But that's why it's so important to understand what Christmas really means. It, it, it really is really important that you understand about Christ and how he is the center and the core of everything we do. The wise men, they sought Jesus. They wanted to know, where is Jesus? And when they came, they was bringing frankincense and bringing, you know, treasures uh, to honor, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, understanding him to be the king. And, uh, but Herod, King Herod, you know, uh, was wanting to know, wait, how could this man even grasp so much attention when I'm the king? And he wanted to find out who this Jesus was. He wanted to find out because it came against everything he thought was important and everything that he thought, you know, uh, was would threaten his kingdom. It says, now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judah in the day of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. What a threat. Hallelujah to the king, king, King Herod's kingdom, because the wise men, hallelujah, they wasn't called wise men just to be called wise men, but these wise men came, hallelujah, and they came not looking for Herod the king, they came looking for the king of kings. And it's a difference between when you look for the king of kings and the Lord of lords and, uh, than looking for any temporal king or kingdoms here on this earth because any kingdom on this earth is temporal. The things that are seen are temporal and the things that are not seen are eternal. Here, now they're preparing for the king. How it heard that Jesus, the king, was coming. Listen to what he says. As saying, where is this? Where is this? He that is born king of the Jews. For we have seen the star in the east and have come to worship. Hallelujah. And when Herod the king had heard this thing, he was troubled. And all Jerusalem with him. Why? Because he's the king. You know what I mean? He, he's not going to give up his kingdom. Is, is, is Jesus coming to, to take over his kingdom? Is Jesus coming to rule and reign over all that he Thinks he has dominion over it. Isn't that how it happens? We think that and we're threatened by people who would come into our lives if you think they might have something better to offer or if you think other folks' attention is being directed towards them as opposed to you. Look at Harry. He gets all upset. He says, and when he had gathered all the scribes and priests and uh, priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. Praise be God. Isn't it beautiful that because we are believing in Jesus, because we have a revelation of who Jesus is, praise be to God, that we understand that Christ needs to be born in us. If any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. But you have to allow that birth. We, we have to allow that Christ to be the center and the core of your life. The wise men, they talked about the wise men who sought after Jesus. Wise men and women still seek Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Listen at this. It says in Fifer, and they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judah, 
for it is written by the prophets. This is not something that uh, they thought was going to happen. It was prophesied, praise be to God, that this day was going to take place, that a Savior was going to come and he was going to save the world. Praise be to God. Look at, look at this. He says, and thus Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Amen. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Look, look, look. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed and lo, the, uh, hallelujah, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came to us and stood over where the young cow was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child and Mary at his mother and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense, praise be to God, and myrrh. And verse 12 says, and being warned of God in a dream they that, that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So we, 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 we are excited about just that short passage of scripture that was read to us because it is imperative that we understand how important it is to receive a revelation from this particular scripture about the birth of Christ and how, praise be to God, we have been given insight on the things that transpired in due time to bring us to this point. There are a lot of people this holiday cannot go past peace, joy, victory, hope, and love because the temporal is in the way. The temporal, those things that perishes. Thank God that the wise men praise be to God, understood some things about the soon coming king. And thank God we was able to see that they brought gifts, praise be to God, to present to the king, the true king. But there's another truth in the matter about Christmas or Christmas. It was not just that they brought gifts. So we, 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 we began to mimic things and mimic them kind of wrong, you know what I mean? And people get left out of the whole mix. We start bringing gifts and we say, well, you know, the wise men brought gifts and we start bringing gifts to one another and we try to make a connection between truth of what God says and what happened and we try to make that a reality in our ministry or in our relationships or in our culture when in fact there's a bigger picture and when you allow the Holy Spirit to minister to your heart, when you allow the Holy Spirit to speak to your heart, when you go and seek the kingdom of God, you understand it's not meat and drink. Hallelujah is not just the temple things. When, when you understand Jesus' birth, hallelujah, it has to go from the story of Jesus coming to being birthed, having a, a, a relationship and having him to be birthed in you. Praise be to God. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. And when you begin to invite Christ into your heart, hallelujah, 
Christ praise brings a gift that's eternal. It's the eternal gift. Amen. So many people struggling now. And I want to talk to those people who are struggling. Those, those people who, who receive their gifts and family is over and having food. Cool. I, I, I have no problem with that. I, all my life, that's what we did. We had family come over. We had food. We exchanged gifts. But we want to put a little more emphasis on something bigger and greater than the things that you see Feel, touch, taste, praise be to God. We, we want to we wanna focus on the spiritual truth, praise be to God, about Christ must be the center and the core of our life. And when we allow Christ to be the center and core, Christmas is every day. He gives us the gift of eternal life. He gives us hope, hallelujah. He gives us peace. He gives us joy in the midst of the storm because he gave his life, because he was birthed, born, lived, died, and rose again, we still celebrate him. And we are so thankful for Christ being the center and core of our life. Somebody is struggling because they didn't get that gift. They didn't get that toy. Nobody called them. Nobody visited them. Praise be to God. Um, they, 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 they're, they're, they're discouraged. They are discouraged because uh, everybody seems to be having such a good time and they're struggling with truth. They're struggling because they don't have a good meal on their table today. They don't have a gift under their tree. They don't even have a tree. And so they begin to think, well, maybe this Christmas thing, hallelujah. And, and, and guess what? They point back up to uh, kingdom and they begin to say, well, God is all that they claim him to be. Why am I so despondent? Why am I so hurt? Why am I so depressed? Why am I operating in fear today? Why am I operating in confusion? Why am I so downtrodden with the cares of this life and the deceitfulness of riches? Because the real truth of the matter is, is that wise men still seek God. And as wise men and women who seek after God, we understand that there is an eternal truth that takes place in Jesus' birth. And when we allow Christ to be birthed in us, in our spirit man, we're not just flesh and blood. The, the flesh part of us, the, the physical part of us, we love the things, the temporal things, hallelujah. But the spirit part of us can comprehend beyond the natural things. And if the gift is not there, and if the people are not there, and if the friends are not there, and if all these things that are supposed to come along with Christmas, hallelujah, is not there, they understand that this is more than just about Christmas, tree, car, Money, friends, family. It's very difficult to tell somebody that right now who's sitting around with they, they haven't even received a phone call more, more, more or less than a gift. And when we allow ourselves to understand that as wise men, hallelujah, they came not just to receive, but they came to give. We could be wise men and women in our efforts to know who Christ is are to receive who Christ is. And what we bring to the table is us. We, we, we focus our attention on who Jesus is. Hallelujah. We accept him as our personal savior. We believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. And we also believe that we are children of the most high God. And now, hallelujah, we are a new creature. We are a new creation because Christ has been birthed in our life. Hallelujah. Christ is the center and the core of our life. Not religion, not denomination, but when we begin to read God's word, just as the wise men sought after Jesus, there's a wisdom, praise be to God, that comes and flows through us. Hallelujah. As a result of the spirit of God operating in our, our lives. As a result of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, we begin to recognize that the things 
that we see, praise be to God, it's okay, it's good, hallelujah, to experience what we do experience and what we see and what we have. But what about when we don't? And what about when we can't uh, have the things that we seem to want? You know, the family didn't come over, the finances not right, everything seems to be, you know, all just out of whack in our lives. And, and you're gonna tell me something about Christmas? Christmas, you can celebrate Christmas every day of the year when you know who God is, when you know who the Savior is, when you know about the Holy Spirit. And I just want to encourage you this holiday, I'm talking especially to those who are who's, who's struggling right now, who say, you know, Bishop, I, I, I don't get you, man. I, I mean, my family is not even here. I, I don't really get you right now. I didn't even get a gift. I didn't even get a card. I didn't even get a thank you. Uh, my life is in turmoil. Let me tell you something. The, the, the sweet thing about the gift that Christ has given us, praise be, it transcends December the 25th. It transcends any day, every day. It's a continuous peace of mind. It's a continuous joy. And what? in knowing what Christ has already done. Not what he's going to do, what he's already done. And so, when the storms of life is raging, when there seems to be such a struggle within your heart and in your life, you begin to say, hallelujah, Jesus is the reason for every season. Therefore, whatever I'm growing through, whatever I'm having to deal with, I deal with it through his blood, through his birth, through his death, and through his resurrection. You can't separate any of those, praise be to God. The wise men, rightfully called wise men, because they was wise enough to seek, hallelujah, the king. Who are you seeking? Who are you seeking today? Hallelujah. Who are you following today? I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about who are you allowing to be the center and the core of your life, of your existence. And when you do, are you ready to give back to the kingdom? Well, I don't have anything to give. Give your time. Give your love. Hallelujah. Give your peace. Give your attention to him. Praise be to God. And when you give that over to the king, praise be to God, it's unlimited to where God wants you to be and what he wants to happen in your life. Don't allow this day, somebody sitting there, I, 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 even suicidal in their mind, don't allow this day to get you off track. Let this day bring you to the king. Bring your treasure. So I don't have anything to bring. Bring your peace. Bring your faith. Bring your love. Faith, yes, come by faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You bring your faith to God. God, I trust you today. Lord, I believe you today. Lord, you're in control of my life today. Oh, what blessings that is to the king and the kingdom. Because as you begin to operate in this realm, in kingdom business, the world begins to watch and understand and see. And when you could bring joy to a person who's hurting right th at this very moment, who's lonely, just broke up with their loved ones, just uh, feel that there's no one that they could go to or talk to and everybody's talking about Merry Christmas and having a good time. What's a good time? Hallelujah. Don't, don't be deceived by what appears to be, hallelujah, a joyous occasions for somebody else. You can have your own gift of peace, love, joy that has come from the king. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. And when he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So we begin to operate in the newness of Christ Jesus. Not in the old way of thinking, 
We begin to think beyond the holiday. Oh my God. We begin to walk in the newness of life every day. Hallelujah. The peace of God rules and reigns every day. The joy of God consumes your heart and your mind every day. Hallelujah. Regardless to how it, how it might get in your life, the sun is shining. Hallelujah, how, how hard it might seem. Hallelujah, you could keep pressing. And you press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Don't allow Christmas, as we know it, as we've learned it, to stop us from knowing who Jesus is. He said, thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus Christ with thy mouth. Do that today and believe in our heart that he died and rose from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Won't you give your life over to Jesus today? Receive the best gift that you've ever received and will ever receive. Hallelujah. And this gift will last all eternity. Think about all the gifts you've had over the years. Think about all the things you've done, even the trips you might have taken. It's, it's forgotten. It's over. But the things of Christ is eternal. Set your affections on things which are above and not beneath. It's so wonderful that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, was birthed into our lives today. And we understand that Christ must be the center and the core of our being. So we walk in peace. We walk in love. We spread joy. We, 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 we declare victory because of what Jesus did, hallelujah, and what he's doing in our lives today. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God he's been birthed in you. Thank God you invited him into your heart. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart today. Come into my heart to stay in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare it's the best Christmas you ever have. It, it, it will be, it will transcend what man consider as Christmas. And you begin to say, hey, Christmas. You could talk about Christmas for the rest of the year until he returns. Father God, we just thank you for every brother and sister who just gave their heart to Jesus Christ. We bind that spirit of depression. We come against that spirit of confusion. Hallelujah. Father God, we come against that loneliness spirit right now. Somebody's crying. Somebody's hurt. Hallelujah. We bind it up in the name of Jesus and we lose peace. We pray the peace of God, that the, the treasures from heaven would flow upon their heart. The peace of God, hallelujah. Wise men and women still seek God. Who are you seeking? And whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. God bless you and Christ must. Remember, Christ must be.